Ordering batteries can be a bit confusing, but there's one thing that a lot of people get wrong pretty frequently, and that is the terminal configurations on lead acid batteries. Let's go ahead and take a look. I got some examples set out here on the table so that you can make a more informed decision next time you gotta buy batteries. All right guys, so I have a whole collection of lead acid batteries. Some of them are AGMs, some of them are standard lead acids, uh, deep cycles. I want you to take a notice of the terminal configurations. So there are several different types. Normally, the battery configuration is kind of dictated by a standard form when you talk about its amp hours. However, like a 1.3 amp hour battery is usually in a standard configuration, but the terminals could be at different ends depending on the manufacturer of the battery. So just because the amp hour matches up doesn't mean that the terminals are in the configuration that you need. You have to try and get a photo of a battery, preferably, before you make a large purchase. Now you can see right here, these here are the slender spade style terminals on each one of these. There are some varieties of batteries that have a wider spade terminal. And when those happen, your spade terminals will not fit on. Uh, if you have the slender style in your medical device and you go to put in a large spade terminal, you're gonna have to re-terminate your battery leads. So let's take a look. <clears throat> Batteries are rated on the volts and the amp hours. So this one here is a 4.5 amp hour, six volt battery. The terminals are at opposite ends of the battery. You should be aware of that. While a lot of batteries have this epoxy filling that kind of dictates the polarity, sometimes it's in the casing. So you have to look really carefully at the casing to get the correct clarity of the battery. Always verify. When you get to the larger batteries, this is where people often make mistakes. So yes, we have terminals, spade terminals usually on the smaller AGMs, but people often get the size wrong. But on these ones, if you get a larger size battery, there's going to be screw down terminals, there's going to be uh, bolt through terminals, and some of them have a slender bolt through whereas this one here is a, a thicker bolt through. You see that? They're not always standard. So always verify with your lead acid batteries, the type of terminals that you need. You can see right here, these ones here are bolt downs. Fascinating. But anyway guys, just a little rundown on your lead acid batteries. They're very confusing, I know, but they're also, they could be very expensive. So don't make the mistake. Logistically, it's an absolute hassle to ship batteries back if you make an erroneous order. So verify, and if anything, we have no problem whatsoever with taking a photo of the batteries that you're requesting and sending you a photo of the actual battery that you're gonna be purchasing so that we know that you're getting the correct battery for your order.